Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hullis from SPS back in the building at the Horatio Williams Foundation in Detroit, Michigan, 1010 Antietam. I look out the window, I see the beautiful Detroit skyline, but more importantly, sitting here with Al Harrington. He's here in the building, representing Viola, come to sit with us and tell us about this great opportunity. But before I go any further, there's an announcement I gotta make. Somebody got a birthday. Yeah, man. Happy birthday, brother. How you doing? How it work out like that, right? Yeah, I know. That's how God works. Right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So before we get into um, what I want to talk to you about today, I have to also say another thing from a personal standpoint. <clears throat> Viola, your company, is named after your grandmother. Correct. And my relationship with my grandmother is such that I named my daughter after my grandmother. Oh, so crazy. so when I hear that and I see that, I, I see the love and what it means, and I think it's a great story when she said, I ain't smoking no reefer, right. but you finally got to talk <laughs> into it. And if you can win your grandmother over, hey, the anything else The world should be easy. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's been living on a rock, unfortunately, they don't know the great things you've been doing with your brand after a great NBA career coming out uh, and going to the NBA at age 18 and doing all these great things right now. Tell us why you're in Detroit and tell us what your mission is right now and why it's so important. Well, I'm in Detroit because one, um, you know, I made an investment in Detroit. You know, I made about a $15 million investment into this uh, into this city uh, in trying to bring and create jobs right through the cannabis industry. And, uh, you know, as I've grown in the industries, this is my 10 year anniversary that I've actually been mm -hmm. in the game. And I've learned and noticed that there's just not enough representation of people of color, you know, in the cannabis industry. And when you think about the community that was mostly affected and harmed by the war on drugs, especially with cannabis arrests, it was mm -hmm. the black community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just a firm believer in education and, and letting our people know how important this opportunity is mm -hmm. because we still have people that um, it's just they've seen so many bad things associated sure. with it, they can't sure. get past the stigma. Sure. And what I'm trying to get them to understand is if they don't get past it, we're going to end up being customers. Exactly. And, you know, you have all these other industries before cannabis like uh, alcohol, sugar, rice, sure. cotton. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It was black people that were right there pioneering those sure. industries and we sure. have no ownership. You sure. know what I'm saying? So I think this is a time where we have to pay attention because I'm not sure what's coming behind this Mm -hmm. that could have this type of an impact. And I really feel like cannabis uh, revenue can rebuild our community. Absolutely. This could be our gold rush. This could be our gold rush. This, this could be our reparations as, yeah, we, as we talk about and we want all the time. So I'm just, I'm, I'm really on that and I just want to continue to spread as much knowledge that I've been able to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, attain in this industry and give it to the people that, you know, these opportunities are actually in front of. Yeah, that's wonderful. You said the S word, the stigma, and, and whether that stigma may always be there, we know there's been a push to decriminalize marijuana we're seeing that happening but talk about from an athlete standpoint me as a sports psychology consultant how do you make the play that hey this is good for me as an athlete uh, compared to doing something else I mean just I mean just look at your options right you know you think about as, as athletes uh, you know when we are in hurt or in pain they give us opioids they mm -hmm. give us these prescription pills mm -hmm. we all know that prescription pills are highly addictive mm -hmm. and if you over you know abuse them you could actually die yeah right? sure uh, we think about liquor. Now, liquor is another vice that we go to, right? Mm -hmm. And when I think about my career in the NBA, I've had multiple teammates that drank themselves out of the mm -hmm. league. I haven't had many that smoked themselves out mm -hmm. of the league. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you think about just cannabis being an alternative way for people, for us to medicate ourselves, and when you think about all the benefits of it, being that our bodies have an endocannabinoid system, mm -hmm. and the, the, the cannabis plant is a cannabinoid, so mm -hmm. that means that our body is actually made Correct. to work with the plant, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, seamlessly at Correct. the end of the day. Day. Correct. Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, more athletes, you know, that deal with issues. I had 14 surgeries. You wow. know, for seven years, wow. I took, I took uh, two anti-inflammatories, two in the morning, one at night, just to be able to go out and play. And I knew the harmful side effects, but at the end of the day, I was first generation money. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I had right. to make as much of it as sure. I could. You sure. know what I'm saying? Sure. So, we just want, you know, us people that are, you know, advocates of the, in the cannabis industry, we just want our athletes and just people in general to just warm up to the idea of cannabis and give it a try. Like sure. I said, I'm not sure that it's going to help everybody with everything, sure. but I've seen in my journey in the last 10 years, I've seen it do miraculous things. And, you know, I'm a firm believer that this is the most dynamic plant in the world. When you think about all the things that mm -hmm. it can actually do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've seen people that have been terminally ill with cancer mm -hmm. and, you know, stage three. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen with my own eyes mm -hmm. that they go and get checked after cannabis regimen 
and you know tumors are gone. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's just an, it's just it's just this we're at the beginning stage of just an unbelievable industry and I think as we continue to unlock all the things that this plant can do, we're gonna be amazed 20, 30 years from now. Wow, we're just talking to you in this brief amount of time. I am and I thank the viewers who are gonna listen to this. We're over at the Rachel Williams Foundation, they're gonna be impressed. We have a packed room of individuals here looking yeah. to get more information. And the last thing I'll ask you, uh, talk about your particular brand, Viola, and why it's so important and why it should really carve itself out in this industry. Tell us more about that. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, besides us being a black-owned brand, right, you know, a lot of people always, like, support black business and mm -hmm. this, that, and the third, but we really good at what we do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. this, we are an excellence brand. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that we are black. Mm -hmm. But that is, that that's a big thing, right, mm -hmm. because there's not enough black representation in the space. So mm -hmm. we have to continue to screen that from the mountaintop that we are black and my thing the reason why I do it is more to encourage mm -hmm. it's not as a pity party mm -hmm. or like support us because there's nobody sure, else like sure, us around sure. it's literally like the show like look look at what I've done I didn't smoke mm -hmm. I had no cannabis background from young mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying this mm -hmm. is something that I, I learned about as an adult mm -hmm. and look at what I've been able to do right. I just feel like there's other entrepreneurs out there that look like me and you that can do the same thing wow. you know what I'm saying they have the wherewithal they have the knowledge they have the relationships mm -hmm. this business is a lot about relationships Absolutely. you know what I'm saying and you have these you know some of these great market companies or brands sure, sure. that have like significant brands in their cities and their states mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. what we would like to do with Viola we would like to find those companies do partnerships and allow to bring them to the legal market because I want my young brothers and sisters to have bank accounts that's and right. have homes that's and right. have car loans that's and right. all these different things that's what it's all about you know what I'm saying we want to live normal lives like everybody mm -hmm. else you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying and historically it's been very difficult for us right so that's what we're about. That's what Vi that's what Vio's about. It's all about uplifting, empowering, educating people of color, and trying to use our resources to elevate and lift them up, and just give them a fair shot to participate in this industry. That's awesome. He's here in Detroit on his birthday. You know, that's a special thing. Talking about the company named after his grandmother. You can't yeah. go wrong with that. <laughs> I appreciate you, and I have a feeling coming here with the Ratio Williams Foundation, the impact that you're going to have. This major thing is going to happen. And I want to thank you uh, in advance for what you're doing and what the future is going to bring. Nah, and then big shot to Horatio. Ratio, man, like this is a man of the community. Um, you know, I met with him one time. He totally saw my vision, and then here we are a couple weeks later. You just know what like I'm saying, that. like just like that. And he and he felt that this was very important that this had to happen in that type of a time frame. So this is amazing, and I thank him for giving me his platform mm -hmm. because this is for me. This is a welcome to the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is hopefully a, a moment for me where the city will actually embrace me, mm -hmm. and we can embrace each oh, other. I'm telling you, no, it's, it's already impressed. He's killing. He got the Viola socks for him too. All the way down to the socks. He stayed down. He's Viola down to the socks.